Okay guys, I'm back with a uh, quick little uh, tool review, I guess you'd say. This is a set of uh, basically 0 to 3 inch micrometers. Again, Harbor Freight brand, uh, I believe the Pittsburgh brand. Yeah, made in China. So uh, go ahead and cue the uh, hate mail from the Starrett and the uh, Matoyo or however you say that uh, fans. Uh, but for what I need in building engines and things like that, these are going to work great. Their specification as they are sold says they are accurate down to one thousandths. As with my torque wrench specification uh, or a uh, calibration video, Anytime you have any kind of a specialized tool that has a calibration on it, check it. Uh, the nice thing about this set, it does come in a padded case. It comes with 2 inch standard and a 1 inch standard. I wish it came with a 3 inch standard, but I'm going to have to purchase that separately just to confirm accuracy. And then it comes with a barrel wrench or a spanner wrench, whatever you want to call that. And that's used to correct calibration or what have you on these. Um, so basically you have that little hole there that you'll put your spanner wrench in and you can turn the barrel so that it lines up with zero. Which again, I'm not taking any measurements of these and these are still kind of loose. The nice thing about this set is you have a ratcheting thimble. And if you follow the directions and whatnot, and keep them lubed up, keep them clean, uh, they'll work just fine. Like I said, for what I'll be doing, which is basically checking main bearing clearances and things of that nature, they're going to be more accurate than uh, plastic gauge. Again, they're an outside mic. I may get a set that has the bigger C uh, further down the road for taking measurements of something that's a little bit deeper because the throat on these is a little bit shallow. But like I said, just a quick little tour review. Then with anything, checking your calibrations. As it's stamped on here, they're going to be accurate down to one thousandths. Well, by using the standards, not only the standards in this set, but the standards I have at work, I check the, uh, the cal calibration of them basically, and on my zero to one inch, they're dead accurate with no standard being always all, all the way closed and then at the one inch standard using the one inch standard they're dead accurate the one to two inch with the one inch standard is basically a quarter of a thousandths under two inch standard it's three quarters of a thousandths over so if you do your correction between the two overall throughout its broad range, it's within half a thousandths, which is more than enough for me and ac actually more accurate than what is advertised. For the two to three inch, using just the two inch standard, eyeballing the 25 thousandths off. And what I say by eyeballing is on this one, if you'll be able to read it. The numbers are I can get it to focus. The numbers are your hundreds. So like right now, with this at zero, I'm five hundred thousandths or half an inch. There's half a thousandths is your small mark, five hundred thousandths and one. So five hundred and one thousandths. On and on and on. The barrel has 25 marks on it. So it'll open 25, and then another 25, you'll get your half mark on here. So you got in between the 4 and the 5 is 450 thousandths. Now, some of the higher end sets, the nice part about them is they'll have your 25 thousandths marks on them, um, and then if you flip them over on the back side, a lot of them will have lines, where this one doesn't, on the back side of your barrel that you can break it down below a thousandths. Like I said, for the intent of what I'm going to be using these, 
and for the fact that basically they cost me 35 bucks or something like that they're perfect so just a quick little tool review um, think outside the box you don't have to always buy the expensive stuff I have plenty of Craftsman brand tools I have plenty of Stanley tools all depends on what you're going to be using them for and if you treat them well in the long run stay tuned